Welcome into the Smack Zone. We're coming to you tonight off the top ropes. A show we're bringing to you for the first time where we have two analysts in the fantasy industry going head to head, each with one player they're going to convince you is the best. Tonight, we have Chase Vernon, Mr. Fantasy Football Intervention himself and Jacob Sanderson. Hit the music. Welcome in to Off the Ropes, presented by TrophySmack.com. First up tonight, we have Chase. And Chase is going to be taking on the defense for Rondell Moore. And taking on Chase will be Jacob, who believes Rashad Bateman is the one you should want for your fantasy team. We're going to give each person 45 seconds to make their argument. I have to whistle. Do not go over. If you go over, I'm going to make you deaf. All right. So, Chase, you're going to be up front first and tell us why Rondell Moore is the is the player to have on your team. Man, Rondell Moore is ultimately the player that you want on every single one of your fantasy teams. Sure, he doesn't run a ton of routes in, in 2021, right? And he hasn't seen a ton of targets overall. But he's on a loaded offense. I mean, we're talking about an offense with DeAndre Hopkins, A.J. Green, Christian Kirk. And yet he's still seeing a 26.2, which is 22nd in the NFL when it comes to the target rate. He's absolutely destroying stuff, sitting there at 22nd as well for yards after the catch. And, I mean, the craziest part about Rondell Moore is he's actually destroying Rashad Bateman in terms of red zone targets. It's not even relatively close. I mean, you can bring up Bateman, right, in the missed time, but the reality is, is Rondell Moore has only run 10 more routes than Rashad Bateman, and yet he still has 26 more yards. Man. All right, Chase. Chase, you did a, you did a good job. You did it a little long-winded. Um, you know, I don't know that you want to have one player on all your teams out there. You know, we got a little diversity, but, you know, a good percentage. But excellent argument. Very good. Mr. Sanderson, are you ready? I'm ready. You're coming to us coming to us from Winnipeg today. <laughs> In, in the wood in the log cabin um we're gonna have you now make your argument 45 seconds as to why it's not rondell moore you want on most of your teams it's rashad bateman and go well i was worried i'd have to rebuttal an argument but luckily chase spent his time making my argument for him because even though rondell moore has played in every single game he's only run 10 more routes than rashad bateman because he's not an actual wide receiver on this offense He's a gadget player. He ranks outside the top 100 in ADOT. He's not ever getting the ball down the field. And so his target rate is fine because his target rate equates and his playing time equates to when they want to run a little gadget play swing pass. If you want an actual alpha wide receiver, you got to scale up to Rashad Bateman. He's in a group as a prospect with guys like Moore, Cooper, Odell Beckham, Mike Evans, Sammy Watkins, DeAndre Hopkins, Julio Jones, Des Bryant in terms of his college profile and seeing over 20% of the targets coming off IR. That's the type of guy that profiles to be a long-term stud in the NFL, not a gadget player. All right, listen, I like that. You were, you were almost actually done as I was about to blow the whistle. I'll tell you what, Jacob, interesting strategy to spend 30 seconds talking about Rondell Moore and only leave it about 15 to 20 to talk about, I'm sorry, yeah, to, yeah, to talk about Moore and only leave it about 15 to talk about Rashad Bateman, but I understand. All right, so there's still one more round left in the smack zone, and we're going to go back to Chase. Chase, you're going to get 30 seconds to make your closing argument. I would recommend you talk about your player, but listen, it's up to you. <laughs> you do what you want. The clock is going to start now. Listen, situations change, right? We talk about it all the time when it comes to, to the NFL. And the Cardinals are sitting there with massive contracts about to come off their books. Meanwhile, they only have about $21 million in cap space available for 2022 because of the massive contracts they already have signed. Well, guess what? A.J. Green, Christian Kirk are part of those contracts. And when we see Christian Kirk, right, he's able to grab at least $12 million per year from a team in Arizona is probably not going to be able to pay him. Honestly, there's no chance that Ronda Moore is going to be a gadget player. This guy's a lock for a starter in a high-powered offense. Look, Rashad Bateman is as close to a slam-dunk prospect as you'll ever find. 
came and broke out as a freshman. He's got six feet, 190 pounds, prototypical size, comes into a situation, people were fading because they worried they wouldn't pass well enough, whether they wouldn't pass enough. Turns out Baltimore has been one of the most prolific passing offenses in the NFL this season. They've changed their identity. The problem is he's competing with two other studs and Marquise Brown and Mark Andrews. But we've now seen this offense can support a wide receiver one, a tight end one. We know Rashad Bateman's got the skills. That's where the upside is. Both guys here made perfect arguments tonight. We're going to turn it over to you, the viewers of the Smack Zone. And we're going to ask you to go to Twitter, check out the poll, and vote for Chase or Jacob. We're out. Yeah.